Hello my soccer universe, ever since the club season ended and since I've done all the review videos I have been preparing this office here of mine for the Euros but it always felt a little bit sparse because I don't have too many national team scarves and as you can see there are two for Italy, Spain is kind of doubling up as well because there's an Italy-Spain quarterfinal scarf from Euro 2008 also not feeling quite right so three Italy scarves if you would like there are also two Austria scarves one up there that you cannot find now and another one here and yes I added these flags now I also have added this little board here a magnetic board where I can follow the tournament I wanted to hide most of the sponsors so I took a sticker I, I'm not collecting stickers but you know with the magazines they come in the stickers I added one there so that we have at least a euro logo to get a little bit ready but needless to say whole lot of white space here and yes this white space will anyway there will be jerseys hanging so it's probably not so bad but I felt I needed to add a little bit more and where do you get scarves all quick well I knew that vintage football area are selling scarves and so I went a little bit wild there it's a very thick parcel and of course you add a jersey or two as well I might have done something bad here but hey let's get it out and then in addition Puma also had a sale and while we ordered a lot for uh, my family a jersey also found it my way so you know there's a lot of stuff but I would say let's look at the scarves first and then we look at the jersey although there's one jersey in there that I will not show you right now because it's not one for a national team but a club team but it's a rather special jersey that I will reveal a teeny bit later let's crack this one open to add a few more scarves hmm? open it is all very nicely put together there's another bag here so you already see here and let's open this one and I'll take them out one by one first thing here vintage football area there is of course some instructions and you know you can follow that one and let's take out scarf number one this one that yeah that was actually the cheapest one it's not a very special scarf in any way however it will serve its purpose it is an England scarf with an England flag it may also be useful for other occasions but I think it's a nice England scarf nothing special but hey there you go this I needed the hosts and I was wondering should I take a white Germany scarf that would actually be nice or should, 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 should I go all out in the end I didn't want to spend that much cash so I bought this one for 10 bucks it's all Deutschland 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 a little bit overbearing I have to say but hey it goes there was one also from the World Cup in 2014 but it would have been twice as expensive and I thought okay let's go with this one uh, it is very very German and you know, next one the favorites France and since vintage football area is from France I found a really nice one I actually think this is one one could even wear in winter without much trouble this is from uh, the early 2010s as you can see with this logo and only one star but I was immediately taken by the nice design you know it is dark blue and it has the other two accent colors as as well looks very classy I have to say and I didn't necessarily only go out with a uh, Adidas scarf that they were also offering so this one is a really really nice one will make it like a very nice accent back there the last one the last scarf I have is actually a special one because back in 2002 ahead of that World Cup I think it was in February I went to Barcelona to visit my brother and there was a match be, to be played between Spain and Portugal and this is where I bought that scarf here this is where I was on the Mont Chouic. and I was wondering at the time should, should I also get the Portugal scarf well fortunately enough I didn't get it back then but they had exactly the scarf Portugal classic Portugal scarf from the early 2000s absolutely love this one this is probably the best one of all that I got uh, with a nice uh, Portugal coat of arms and so on and then saying Portugal are uh, really really well done so four new teams added and this one I should have gotten back then honestly now so now there are two jerseys two national team jerseys that I also got I'm wondering shall I go with the Puma one first or should I go with the one that I ordered from vintage football area first 
Maybe let's do the Puma one first. Yeah, let's do the Puma one first. Oh, I took it out of the bag and I think if I show you, it's pretty clear. The Jack jersey, uh, they, had it, I, they had it not only on sale, but I also got a nice coupon for it. And I think I paid, ended up paying them only 40 bucks or whatever. Um, it was also one that was chosen very nicely by my wife and I thought oh, this could be useful for the Euros as well. So here you go, it's of course of the infamous 22 line, you know, where they had this shield, where that houses the number. And what they did really smart is that they actually put in here the FIFA code for the country. So you, we have here uh, Z, uh, Z, E, which means of course uh, Czech Republic. Uh, and you see the shield here. I probably, if they would have lost this here, I think it would have looked even better, but I think it looks all fine. This, this, this was one of, one of the better ones because it's not so much in your face. Um, on the back, we have the Czech flag as expected. And, but what, what I really like about this one is uh, the combination, you know, you have the white and you have the red uh, on the sleeves. I think this makes for a really nice color combination overall. And that's what I'm going to use for my Euros coverage. Okay, this is the first one. The other one is also from a Euros. And it is actually not one that is ve was very successful for that particular team, but that has a feature that I actually enjoy quite some. So let me show you. It is the Netherlands 2016 home jersey. The Netherlands didn't qualify for Euro 2016. They didn't even then qualify for the World Cup uh, wearing this one. Uh, what intrigued me with this jersey is that like this time around, it features a blue lion and orange. I think it's a really cool color combination, I have to say. Also, unlike most of the other 2016 jerseys, which are actually really nice to wear by Nike. Uh, the sleeves here you will see a not a very much unicolor. There's not weird color combinations up there, which actually elevates this jersey as well. Uh, the interesting thing here that I just realized is that the lion looks really nice. Lion looks really nice, but it's actually um, a rubberized or a silicone crest and not the stitched one that we had uh, in 2014, which I'm not sure is this a downgrade, is it an upgrade, uh, but I think it looks still very 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 nice much better than the one that i have for the uh, 22 world cup jersey this one i got for a relatively reasonable i think 40 euros and it's in really really good condition overall of course it says netherland like all of these jerseys here on the back although i didn't like the template upon release i have quite a few uh, of these already so there you go 2016 eight years later so now I should add, while the men were not successful in this jersey at all, actually there was one successful team and it's very similar to Austria. It was of course the women's team. They won the women's years in 2017, breaking the long streak by the Germans. So there's at least some success attached to that one. Now, of course, you want to see how I will do with the scarf. So yeah, I'm going to spend some time hanging the scarves up, rearranging, and I'll show you the final result in just a little bit.
And so here's the final result. I decided to put Germany here because you know if I do my short videos it's this spot. The Euros are played in Germany. That's also why I put the Euro 2008 quarterfinal scarf there. Kind of have it a little bit more neutral. Then as you saw I did some rearranging. I put France and England here in the middle between uh, the Netherlands and Spain. I wanted to have Italy also on the side. So it meant Portugal have to go here and I moved Austria also on the side not to double up because I have already the Austria scarf all the way up there. Then the other Italy scarf goes next to it and I decided to keep Bulgaria in there. My wife is from Bulgaria, so why not? Uh, and yeah, the Australia scarf is gone. But I actually now I'm quite happy with the way things look here. Uh, this will allow me to, you know, maybe limit sometimes the number of shirts that I'm going to hang up. Uh, although I really like it to make it full with shirts as well. But, you know, be a little bit more flexible there. So new scarves added, two new shirts. I'm ready for the Euros. I'm really ready. Let me know what you think. Is this a good stage for my Euro Cow coverage? I think it is. I'm thoroughly satisfied. In any case, give me a thumbs if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below if you want to add anything to my new background or the two new jerseys. I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!